for Christians, Lent is a season of spiritual deepening and reflection and renewal. And I think every Christian has a version of something like that. And so, um, you know, in the in the UCC, in the Congregational United Church of Christ tradition, we have a pretty generous uh, theology and a pretty open understanding of who God is and how we live as God's people. And so, you know, when I was thinking about how to help people grow in their faith, you know, we're not a kind of read your Bible, pray every day kind of tradition. It was more in a broad sense, how do we help people experience wonder and practice gratitude and live with compassion? I mean, those are sort of some guiding stars I have is what does it mean to be a Christian? I'd say something kind of like that. And how do you then translate that into a way of living? Um, and so um, it started this last Year, but kind of more little this year, I used a book called, um, I think it's called Simplifying the Soul, but I knew no one was probably going to go buy this book and read it. So I just took practices that I liked and they kind of shook loose some new ideas for me and gave people a little nugget, a little 30 second, one minute bit of homework uh, via Instagram, created a little video and just said, hey, today, here's what you should do. Here's something to try, a way to encounter the sacred um, in your daily life. And so they were simple things like when you take out the trash, uh, say a prayer for something in your life you want to take out, leave out with the trash. Just every time you do it, you could think about what's something I want to let go of and leave behind. Or, um, you know, an another one was don't look at advertisements today. You know, we think about to live in a materialistic, acquisitive culture and how to be in it, but not of it. I mean, one small thing to do is just not look at advertisements and try to get some free. So, but they were, as you said, harder things. I mean, one day it was forgive someone and think of, and thinking about all that's emotionally involved with that. So uh, simple, but not easy, little things um, just day by day. I, I loved this series. I will say that I was one of the folks watching. I'm not a member of Anthony's congregation, but I still, because it was Instagram, it was an easy vehicle for me to watch these short video invitations that you posted throughout Lent as these quick, they were like 60 seconds usually. Um, the videos were really short and gave me an invitation to consider a practice I might want to incorporate that day or that week. And uh, I'm just wondering what inspired this, this container and the Instagram being the vehicle through Lent. How, how did this all come together? Well, it, um, I'll say short because when this started last year, I'm such an old person. I, I don't think I could figure out how to make them longer than 60 seconds without <laughs> Instagram cutting me off. And I changed the platform, but I was like, let me just stick with this. And uh, so it was by necessity short because I um, figured out the technology, but I'm sure any of you out there could do better. Um, but really, I thought, you know, you know, again, I want to help people grow in their faith and in a sense of their connection to God and to other people and to the world. But, you know, I, I want to be realistic and start where people are starting. And for most of my congregation, at least, they, as I said, they weren't going to go buy a book. They weren't going to come to church an extra time that week if I did a special service. They, they, I wanted to catch them where they were and especially catch people who maybe are the ones who might not be the most plugged in on a Sunday morning anyway and might not be there for the sermon. So it was, what's a way to get in front of get in their face a little bit and give them something to do that you know it's really hard to kind of you know if, if you if minister says read your bible and pray today you know it's kind of like oh well whatever you know but you, you don't really have to think twice if, if somebody says hey you know um take a walk today you know take a walk today and just be outside and feel how amazing creation is let a little awe sink in you know it just feels different and i, I wanted to help people just see that um you know meet they are and to help them see that faith is easy and it's really fun and um and you can do it and it's it, it, it can you can be prompted when you're doom scrolling you can just find some kind of pastoral word and then it can get you to do something